Hey guys, Derek here from Nap Lab. Today, we're testing the Semba Hybrid 2500 mattress. How did it perform in our tests? Let's go ahead, find out now. Let's start with an overview of the Semba Hybrid 2500. Who it's best for, what it feels like, and why you might want to buy it. The Simba Hybrid 2500 mattress is a hybrid mattress manufactured in Canada. This mattress is also sold in the UK, France, and Spain, with slight variations to the mattress design and name for each region. During our performance test, the Simba had excellent cooling, minimal sinkage, very low motion transfer, very fast response time, high level of bounce, very good edge support, excellent sex performance, and excellent pressure relief. Overall, the feel, performance, and material quality is excellent. The Simba is a solid hybrid mattress by any definition. Notably, Simba does not offer refunds in the vast majority of cases, only exchanges. In my view, to still be selling a mattress online without a no questions refund policy in 2022 just seems silly. It's become such a standard part of every online mattress brand that it's hard to imagine anyone being happy about having to take such a risk. In our test, the Simba Hybrid 2500 received an overall score of 9.59 out of 10. The mattress scored a perfect 10 for low motion transfer and very fast response time. The sex score was also excellent at a 9.8. Cooling, pressure relief, and off-gassing were good, ranging between 9.5 and 9.6. Edge support and the company dipped a bit down to a 9.3. The Simba Hybrid 2500 has a medium firm feel with a firmness of 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, where 10 is the most firm. This is a mid-range firmness and is a mattress that should be acceptable for a wide range of sleepers' needs. The Simba Hybrid 2500 is best for sleepers looking for a solid hybrid with a plush quilted cover, zone support layers, low motion transfer, and a fast response time. That said, the Simba mattress may not be for everyone. Simba's no refunds policy is looking archaic. If you do wish to return the mattress, you may only exchange it for a different mattress. While there are many options to exchange with, including many competitor mattresses, it's still a less than great policy. Furthermore, any exchange is accompanied by a $50 return fee. Also, this mattress may not be a good pick for heavy stomach or heavy back sleepers due to the zonal support issues. We'll get into those specifics in just a minute. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Support on the Simba Hybrid 2500 was excellent. In all of our tests, I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. The Simba's base foam layer is cut with channels to enable zonal support. This creates more support where you need it and less where you don't. Zonal support is helpful for all sleeping positions, but especially for side sleepers. My only concern with respect to support is that heavier weight stomach and back sleepers may find the zonal support detrimental. This is because the middle zone is allowing for quite a bit more sinkage, which is great for side sleepers, but may not be ideal for stomach and back sleepers. As a result, some stomach and back sleepers may find it doesn't create enough support in the middle of the mattress. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At Nap Lab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to nine different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. Cooling performance on the Simba Hybrid 2500 mattress was excellent. In our cooling test, I never felt any significant heat retention or heat buildup around my body. The Simba mattress breathed well, released heat, and remained comfortably cool. The material design and layering helps to improve cooling and breathability. The top layer of graphite foam has a visibly large open cellular structure. This type of foam structure allows air to more easily penetrate the foam, improving cooling. In addition, the base foam is a zoned foam. For cooling, the large cutouts allow air to flow through the mattress. Lastly, the microcoil layer also increases airflow. All three of these design factors have a positive impact on the total cooling experience of the Simba. Looking at our objective data, we saw a maximum temperature of 88.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 
after heating the mattress with body heat for 15 minutes and then getting off the mattress, we saw a decline of 3.6 degrees from zero to one minute, dropping from 88.5 to 84.9 degrees. This is about average compared to all other mattresses we've tested to date. By the five minute measurement mark, the Simba mattress had declined to 81.1 degrees. The heat dissipation curve is good, but not overly impressive. It has a gradual and continual heat decline over the five minute measurement period with fairly typical temperature declines from minute to minute. This indicates that at least some level of heat is being retained deeper within the mattress and more slowly released. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. The Simba Hybrid 2500 mattress has a minimal to moderate level of sinkage. In our test, we measured 1.91 inches of sinkage. This is notably lower than the average sinkage across all of our mattress tests to date, which is 2.21 inches. The Simba has a relatively thin comfort layer. There is 2.25 inches of straight comfort foams and 3.5 inches of transitional support and foam. It seems the 3.5 inch transitional polyfoam layer is really creating quite a lot of pushback and support. While this is great in terms of support, it does mean sinkage is more restrained and may not be ideal for all side sleepers. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. Motion transfer on the Simba Hybrid 2500 is very low. In our accelerometer motion transfer test, we measured 3.70 meters per second squared of acceleration. This is significantly better than the average motion transfer based on all of our mattress tests to date, which is 5.83 meters per second squared. While the Simba does include microcoils, microcoils don't really create nearly the same level of motion transfer as a more typical pocketed coil is going to. As a result, Simba's motion transfer level looks far more like an all foam mattress than a hybrid. Looking at our motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, we can see the highest motion levels dissipate by 0.35 seconds. A slight to moderate level of motion persists until 0.78 seconds, after which motion returns to near zero levels. The motion duration and motion peaks are both very low. Overall, very low motion transfer for the Simba. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it is fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. Response time on the Simba Hybrid 2500 is very fast. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.5 seconds and a full material recovery of 1.3 seconds. This is about average for the mostly recovered response, but a good bit below average for a full material recovery compared to all of our mattress tests to date. Even so, being average is plenty fast enough for the vast majority of sleepers. On average, we see a mostly recovered response time of 0.56 seconds and an average full material recovery of 0.95 seconds. The polyfoam layers and microcoils bounce back the shape extremely quickly. While this isn't the fastest response time we've tested to date, which is 0.2 seconds, it's still extremely quick. Most sleepers should find the response to be a non-issue. To round the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. The Simba Hybrid 2500 has a high level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 11.42 inches. This is notably more than the average bounce height, which is 9.36 inches based on all of our tests to date. Bounce is a bit of a preferential factor. Even so, more bounce makes the mattress easier to move around on, gives it a more traditional feel, and improves sex. At 11.42 inches, the Simber has plenty of bounce. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Edge support on the Simba Hybrid 2500 is good, but not great. In our test, we measured 4.5 inches of compression while sitting directly on the edge of the mattress. This is just slightly better than the average compression based on all of our mattress tests to date, which is 4.68 inches of compression. Typically, I wanna see four inches of sitting edge compression or less. While sitting edge support leaves something to be desired, edge support while lying directly on the mattress was excellent. I felt fully supported while lying directly on the edge in all sleeping positions. Next, let's talk about sex. Our sex rating formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from our sex relevant testing factors, plug into the formula, to derive a sex score for each mattress. 
For the Semba Hybrid 2500 mattress, these individual factors generated a SAC score of 9.8 out of 10. This is a very good score. Let's walk through the factors that help reduce this score. First is bounce. Bounce is arguably the most important factor for sex and makes up 60% of the overall sex score. Bounce levels on the Semba were relatively high, which gave it a score of 10. Edge support is good, but not great on this mattress, with 4.5 inches of sinkage when sitting directly on the edge. This is a little more than I like to see and brings the edge score down to a 9.3. Noise, pressure relief, and cooling were all non-factors really and had good scores. The material components, quality, and comfort layer thickness are all critical factors to pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position. The Simba Hybrid 2500 had excellent pressure relief. The mattress has 2.25 inches of pure comfort material and another 3.5 inches of comfort slash support transitional polyfoam. These layers work together well within the zonal support layers to create fantastic pressure relief for most sleepers and sleeping positions. While the top layer of foam is a polyfoam, it still leans more towards a memory foam feel with respect to contour and hug. The Simba Hybrid 2500 creates a dramatic contouring effect around the body. This design fact, combined with the zonal support, allows for deeper sinkage in the midsection and the hips. For side sleepers in particular, this is ideal as it helps to create a neutral spinal alignment while sleeping. However, I could see that deeper midsection sinkage creating support problems for stomach or back sleepers, especially if you're heavier. To evaluate off-gassing, we monitor the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. The Simba Hybrid 2500 had a strong off-gassing smell upon immediately unboxing the mattress. That strong odor lingered for five days before dissipating. After the fifth day, the average smell was no longer significant. On average, the mattresses we tested smell for 2.8 days, so the Simba is a good bit more than average, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Moving along, let's talk about Simba as a company. The Simba headquarters is located in London in the UK, but they also have a home base in Toronto, Canada. Overall, their company policies are generally favorable towards consumers with a 100-night trial period and a 10-year warranty. But there is one big red flag, no returns. They do have an exchange policy that allows you to swap the Simba for other mattresses, including 50 different models from Sleep Country and virtually any other online mattress. That said, even that option comes with a $50 exchange fee. There are very limited cases where you would actually get your money back, barring some kind of manufacturing error. I would recommend the Simba Hybrid 2500 mattress for sleepers who are looking for a hybrid mattress that uses micro quills and has zone support along the midsection. It has a medium firmness that is suitable for a wide range of sleepers. The flush quilted cover is great for side sleepers especially. It has good cooling, low motion transfer, fast response, and a moderate bounce. As long as you don't need to do a return, the Simba is a solid pick. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you comments or questions, drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Simba mattress, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.